Hi, hello. It's good to see you all. We're very excited uh, to be here. I'm Carly Tso. And I'm Gafnit Salvi. Great to see you. Know and that you are there, but we didn't see you yet. Yes, and soon uh, uh, we will be able maybe also to hear your questions. So we're going to talk today about many, many important things. We're in a very unique astrological times. Uh, we're heading towards a rare solstice that we didn't see in 800 years with a unique conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. We're at the end of the craziest year ever, 2020. And we're heading towards a magical, interesting time that will start beyond the curtain of 2021. But first, uh, we said that we never say hello, you know, today in this very, very busy world. So although uh, we can't see you, we can, uh, write, uh, you can write to us. So you're very welcome to say hello and start by sensing how it is that you feel right now as we are starting uh, this, uh, we'll see, half hour, hour, we'll see what wants to happen. And if you want, you can write to us um, Hello, your name and your your current uh, location, not on the globe, maybe also on the globe, but uh, in you. And also we'll see if it changes later on. Yeah, and we also spoke about the fact that we actually so many, we meet so many people every day and we don't say hello to many of them because we don't know them. But what a good start to say hello to someone and then we start to know them. But we are afraid, we are ashamed, we don't think it's appropriate, <laughs> there is no manner like this. But if we will say to more people that in the shop or when we sit with, near them in the bus, just to say hello, shalom, <laughs> this creates an Hola. energy flow. Ciao. Hola, ciao. This yeah. creates an energy flow which is from human to human. Yes, yes. When I do uh, stargazing processes, I uh, teach people how to talk to the stars. Hello, Katie. Hello. Good to see you. So, hi. So when I teach people uh, how to look at the stars and also talk to them, a process that I always recommend is imagining there is a ray coming from your forehead hello to moxie good to hear you and see you hi and uh, to imagine that there is like this unicorn ray coming from your forehead hello joan <laughs> it's wonderful just to see everybody and say and then you send this ray to a star and you say to the star and try that please in a clear night you say to the star hello i am Carney, in my case, and then you and you take say a few words about yourself, and then you wait for the response, and you actually do get a response. You can really uh, understand the frequency yes. of that star from doing this thing. So I'm teaching how to talk to stars, but let's start with talking <laughs> to people to say hello. You know, at this time of social distance. Yes, and even looking at the mirror and say to ourselves in the morning whilst we brush the tissues, the two, um, uh, hello, good morning, and not only to say, oh, I, do, I look really good today, no, I don't look really <laughs> good today, and start to judge ourselves. So first thing is to get to know ourselves yeah. after really a cosmic sleep. Yes. Because the sleep oh. is connected between the conscious, the semi-conscious, and the unconscious. Mm -hmm. So it's... Amazing. Amazing. Yes. So every morning we can have a new opportunity to say hello to a new person, which is us. So hello to Eleni from Cyprus. It's wonderful to see you. Trees, my student. So good to see you. Hello from Belgium. So hello to you from here, from Israel. It's so wonderful. So many people are joining. Um, and feel free also to ask your questions and comments. Sedef from Turkey. Hi, Sedef. 
so nice. We actually know all these people from all over the world, some really face to face and in person, and it's really wonderful. So, ah, this cosmic amazing time, we are heading a, towards, well, we are, we're not heading, we are in the most amazing time that probably each one of us in our lifetime have ever ever experienced and the reason that we are doing this talk now is because we want to allow as many people possible to go through this time in an aware way this is so crucial why because something is pouring in from the universe during this time we will be in it we are in it anyhow but if we are doing it in an aware way we can walk through this rain um, with buckets and more and more can come into our system we are making availability to whatever is now incoming and this is crucial this is important it's not that we know all the answers but the main theme is to be to to present the idea of walking through this cosmic time in as much awareness as possible to be aware to what is happening now and can i ask why is it now that there is a cosmic rain yes coming yes yes so one thing has to do with the time of the solstice which is every year a very very unique time of very very strong potent energy i'll explain why it is so but during this time it is enhanced even more by the conjunction of jupiter and saturn and enhanced even more because we are in the most amazing cosmic time with things flooding from from the universe so maybe I'll start with an explanation. Why is the solstice, yes. which is going to be December 21st, different hours around uh, the globe here in Israel. It's, uh, it's going to be noon in the UK, uh, 10 a.m. Check for your exact local time. But Monday, December 21st is going to be uh, in the North Hemisphere, the shortest day of the year and in the South Hemisphere, the longest day of the year and why is it such a an energetic uh, portal um, so this has to do with earth's a rotation around the sun whoever saw my videos knows i just love to demonstrate <laughs> this thing i think the globe <laughs> looks so beautiful <laughs> around the screen but this is really 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 crucial to to understand the mechanics of, of what is actually happening uh, during the solstice okay so this is planet earth it has a tilt yes it's not straight just as our heart the same exact degree 23 degree yes amazing we have in hebrew we have 22 letters and in the tarot there are 22 tarot cards mm -hmm. we'll talk about the tarot tonight as well but this is just one above which is earth 23 so 23 degrees of tilt and earth goes around the sun okay and this is how earth is uh, exactly today Yes, so when a, a, at the solstice, the bottom part of the world gets a lot, a lot of light. So when it turns, you can see that the bottom part of Earth is really pointing towards the sun. Now, Earth moves, the tilt doesn't change. Okay, this would be the equinox three months later. And during this time, you can see that it doesn't matter where you are. You have the same amount of light all over the world. And after that, uh, three months later, there is the next equinox, a uh, so, sorry, solstice. solstice, the next solstice. And this time the north is heading towards the sun, getting 
as much light as possible and the south is uh, getting very little. Now, this is a mechanism, it's a battery. When things uh, turn around, the dynamo creates a field of force, a force field, okay? And we have here, planet Earth is just as a battery. We have here the plus side, which is the, the northern pole, and we have the south uh, minus pole. We can see actually that uh, the water swirls in a different direction in the north pole and in the south pole. And when you have the aurora borealis, which is because this is Earth's uh, protection, Earth's aura, the Van Allen belts, but they have this hole here, yes? So you can see the atmosphere, the you, not the atmosphere, you can see the energy, the solar yeah. winds and energy that comes from the sun. Usually Earth is protected, but during the, uh, but in these poles, you'll see the lights and the lights in the north, the Aurora Borealis and the lights in the south, Aurora Australis, are exactly the same happens here but opposites like mirror shape so it will be like yeah. this mirroring so what this means is that during the solstice the plus and minuses are really really extreme this is the time of extreme polarities and when the plus and minus are very 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 extremes it means that there is lots of electricity and energy going on Hello, Donna. It's so good to see you with us. Hi, hi, hi. I'm hi. glad. We're glad that you can join. <laughs> so during the, the solstices, we're having the most extreme energy. Now, when we learn, and if we and we should learn how to use our body as a healing system, because we are a healing system, we the first thing people who know how to heal and we can teach that uh, if someone is interested you can search for the ruby mountain art org and you'll really learn there how to heal yourself <laughs> so ruby mountain org for more healing advice but healing starts with making sure that our hands are polarized we have one negative hand one positive hand and if we want the magic to happen we need to make sure that we're very polarized so our whole system is like an energetic battery so everyone who learned on the ruby mountain or in the emen how to learn to do healing knows that our body is an energetic field and if we want to have very potent energy we need to polarize ourselves even more to make it extreme so this is what happens on the solstice solstice uh, the energy levels are absolutely absolutely extreme everything is electrical and everything is very 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 powerful this is why the solstice is tremendously tremendously strong now the December solstice is a time for things to come in to planet Earth during this very strong time. Do a year-long process and then on the other end, the, uh, here in the North Hemisphere, the southern summer solstice, things go out. It's the time of produce. So this is the time of planting seeds, the snow falling, the whole wish to have a white Christmas talks about the universal, universal force falling at this time. And it is a very, very, very strong, energetic time during this year. Yeah, I wanted to say about the two hands that the negative and positive, it's not bad and good. It's one is receiving and the other one is transmitting. So it's not a matter of bad or good, it's a matter of receiving and transmitting. Mm -hmm. And about um, the energies that come in and the energies that come out, this is a mechanism that we, we actually use it every day when we go to the toilet. Mm -hmm. Now Karni is drinking water now. It will need to absorb 
in the complex to really get into all the cells and what is not needed going out. This is a mechanism of healing actually and it is such um, a blessing that also on planet Earth there is this mechanism, otherwise everything would be blown up. And this is where we also need to be aware that there is so much going on now and we need to find a way to release to release. I know it's winter here, but to walk barefoot, it's really, really important to take shower, to write things down, to sing, to dance, you know, to do things like exhaust some of the energies. Some of it is very valuable to write it down and or to draw or to make music or, you know, any form of art. And some of it just need to go to flush out, like we flush the toilet. So it's, it's, we need to be grateful for these little things. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is a process. We are a processing machine. Planet Earth is a processing machine. It's all about processes, processes, processes. And um, talking about processes, um, let's, let's see something interesting about planet Earth and the process that takes place Hi, Aggie. Aggie, wonderful. So Mimo is here from Germany. Hi, and Mimo. And Donna is here from the States. And Aggie from Canada asks, does the planet flush out energies? Yes. 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 How? Ooh, in all sorts of ways. Everything that you see on planet Earth, Aggie and everybody, is planet Earth flushing out the energy that it gets from the stars, from the universe. This is a flower. Yes, this is a human being. This is a gigantic mountain. This is a beautiful sea. Planet Earth travels around the universe. It receives energies and her expression, her beauty, is how it flushes out the energy yeah and we enjoy the flush out of an apple so we can eat it and get the energy mm -hmm. it's not that we eat the end of the bar but the planet earth always produce something and the extra she release mm -hmm. but really all the fl all the all the leaves that grow and we see in spring like shooting leaves and then there is the flowers and then there is the fruit and then there is the seeds and everything is like, and then the rain wash everything. So everything is like, all this beauty is mm -hmm. part of receiving, mm -hmm. growing, flashing. Amazing, amazing. So, so Pamela is here saying hello from Homestead in Tennessee. Good to hear and see everybody. It's so, so, so uh, unique and special. I'll, I'll, I'll go back to this because also the fact that we're talking here, we're at the age when we're talking with people from different places in the world. It's not just a technological advancement. It's a cosmic event. Uh, so this is the symbol of planet Earth in, in astrology. Yeah. Yes. And it talks about a million things, <laughs> but it also talks about the four gateways of the two solstices yes top and bottom 21st of december 21st of june and the two equinoxes the spring and the fall equinox now we're now at this gateway and we actually we have four gateways, but you don't need 360 days or degrees or a whole year to pass through four gateways in an interesting way. Yes. We started this whole 2020 um, happening exactly at the spring uh, North Hemisphere equinox. Because exactly on the 21st of March this year, the whole world went into quarantine, which is amazing because it's the day of the equinox and it's the day where everything is equal. 
all around the world. Mm -hmm. And this is when this back on. So this is when this uh, 2020 is started. Now, this is 21st of March, 21st of June, 21st of uh, September. And now we're at the fourth cosmic gateway. We didn't need to go through the next uh, third, uh, quarter of the year because we in nine months touched the four cosmic gateways in nine months. What are nine months? If not giving pregnancy and giving birth. Exactly. So in an interesting way, this solstice really represents an end process for this whole amazing year and whatever wanted to enter planet Earth uh, during this uh, during this amazing, amazing uh, time. In, in a strange way, mm -hmm. like in a strange analogy, if we drive with a car and we, we need to stop to fill the petrol, so these four gates are like mm -hmm. stopping to fill our car with petrol so we can move into the next. But this petrol is of a very high quality. Yes, yes, yes. And because we are on the move. Yes, yes. Yeah, we don't want to get stuck. Y yes, it happened to me once. <laughs> <laughs> I really happily rushed through all petrol stations, so happy. I don't need to stop. And then ended up like three hours later with no gas in my car. Not a good situation. So we do want to get our petrol filled in every station. So what did what did our car go through? What did we fill ourselves in in the last uh, station? So the solstice, the the spring solstice, twenty first of March was a time of stopping, a time of pause, and I know now we have all sorts of reactions to the quarantine. But the first episode of just bringing the world to a halt, stopping, stopping the airplane, stopping the industry. It had some cars, stopping cars. cars, stopping schools. Schools never stop, mm -hmm. only in a, you know, summer vacation. Yes. Schools were stopped. All the family were in one unit at home. Mm -hmm. And this didn't happen for a long, long, long time. Maybe in the, you know, ancient time they yes. would be together, but mm -hmm. Modern time? Never before the... See the parents 11 minutes a day. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Children saw their parents 11 minutes a day. And this quarantine time was... Everybody was 24-7. And it had an effect. All kind of an effect. Yes, yes, yes. Because we don't know to live together anymore. We need practicing. Yes. So this time of pause and stop also had a huge reflection upon us. It was very, very reflecting. Yes, very reflecting in all ways, right? What is the house that I built? Am I okay to be in it and not leave the family, the family life I lead? How, how am I with myself? Yes, you had like 24 hours to look at yourself in the mirror so this is very very reflecting yeah. and also how much we live in inward and how much we live outward mm -hmm. like what is the percentage because we are so much used to live out 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 like we identify mm -hmm. with our work you ask a person so who are you and immediately we say what we are doing at work but it's not who are <laughs> we we had time to think about it it's so funny because usually we start by introducing ourselves, not assuming that everybody knows us, and we just didn't <laughs> yes. this time. It's why? Why be interested in what we do? Be interested yeah. in what you get from this process. Yes. yes. Uh, and and what can happen when people meet, even through this, through the, the Zoom. For example, Aggie's question opened a, a whole other dimension. So please put in your questions because. This will be different if you add your question uh, to it. So feel free to, to say hello if you haven't yet and please ask questions or say your amazing things and share and add. 
So we had a, the, the equinox, perfect pause, and then we went to the extreme of the solstice. And this is something that was felt in the whole world during the end of June, a starting extremism <laughs> all around uh, the world. Yeah, the solstice, previous solstice, half a year ago, every solstice is all about extremes and polarities. But during the last solstice, we also had a solar eclipse on the solstice, which happens every 180 years. So it's absolutely mm -hmm. unique. Mm -hmm. Hello, Volkan. Good to, to see you. I'll read your question very soon and try to uh, answer. Volkan from Turkey, our friend. Uh, so um, it was very interesting that this time of year where, you know, astrologically, I have to say, <laughs> the COVID situation should have stopped. Yes, but it didn't. And things pulled this opportunity that came into pause into an extreme that actually shouldn't ha shouldn't have been there yes and extremism started with riots and with violence and with polarities and during this time of the um, the equinox all the solstice so rare um, we we should have brought things into awareness if we haven't and if the world haven't we had another opportunity which is the a solar eclipse that we just had now during the 14th of December that really talks to this time of 21st of, of June but let me first uh, see the questions I'm really interested so Volkan so the COVID-19 was pregnancy and 21st of, uh, just a minute. Oh, huh, I think I, oh, just a minute, just a minute. I lost your question. Uh, trying to, to see if I can uh, read your question. Oh, and Timothy, Robert is here and Colinda. Okay. So uh, the COVID-19 was pregnancy and 21st of December is the birth of something. What kind of pre uh, preparations can we do to welcome the newborn? <laughs> it's amazing. Um, it's a very, very, very good uh, question. I'll, write, I'll, read, I'll read a few more questions, okay, as well. So uh, Colinda. Uh, hello from Holland. Um, the world has long time been a line of increasing growth. Corona came as a stop all kinds of ways. One of the aims may have been to balance electric and magnetic lives. So yes, and we're adding to it. We'll, we'll just take a few questions in and see what happens. We'll, we'll shake them all and see yeah. what pops out of the box. Uh, and Robert, hello Robert, uh, read that Jupiter and Saturn is going into Aquarius almost at the same time as it is in conjunction on the solstice, not almost, but exactly. Uh, wow, what does that uh, uh, portend? Yes. And Linda says hello from Mexico. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what the the um uh, how, how do you call it the not perception of per, the conception conception <laughs> perception about conception <laughs> the 21st of march was a conception point but not of the covid yes right if we're talking about the world showing us things that the, it gets from the universe yes then the covid is not what was really uh, um, perceived at this time. Yes, this, this was just a part of the expression of what happened at this time or something that allowed us to pause, but this wasn't it. It was the lower side of it. 
okay? So, uh, so it's not that the universe sent us the COVID, no. <laughs> Yeah, so, I think the fact that we went into lockdown, really, we went into pregnancy with that which we already say yes to it, which is our family and our commitment and our expression of love. So in a way, we went internally again to be later on, to come out on a new octave from this pregnancy. Yes. And if we want to receive something, but we try to do it, you know, even when the people run this uh, mileage where you give some, you give the stick, I don't remember how you call it. Um, um, uh, yes, with Passing the baton. Mm -hmm. you, you don't stop, but you stop because you have something valuable to take and to pass it to the next person. Mm -hmm. And this was this to, to pause and reassemble. Yes, exactly. And this is to do with... What can we do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is to pause and reassemble. Because if we only time run in a speed and things went into a huge speed, I mean the train in Japan and the cars are going so fast today and the, the roads are so beautiful, you know. But hey, this is not the rhythm of the person that can hold some bucket and fill them with content. Yes. Yes. And also I wanted to ask you, uh, Volkan, I know you were a new father, kind of new. Uh, when your baby boy, a beautiful, amazing baby boy was born, could you say what, it, what he is? No. <laughs> now he'll have a lifetime to fulfill his potential and much, much, much more with so many possibilities. So let's not think about this birth, yes, as we're going to have, you know, an egg at, <laughs> at the solstice, um, maybe at Easter, but not at the solstice. <laughs> and uh, not that now things are going to be um, uh, revealed, but yes, a new era is born, a new era is born, and the whole world needed to come to a full stop for nine months, yes, for, for this birth uh, to happen, for something that now will take a decade, a hundred years, two hundred years, two thousand, one hundred and sixty years maybe, to come to its full uh, potential and yes. and this it's like this little baby that need really a lot of care and compassion and being with and commitment and show love not only speak about love it's need really a standard that will hold this little baby otherwise you know he's not protected and he's so fine and we can't put pressure on a child to walk before his time of walking. And this is where we need a lot of patience to actually to assemble ourselves and to write down things and to work it out and to uh, create art and all, everybody have different kind of expression. So we will start to feel this is what is coming. This is a baby uh, natural genius. The new baby natural genius. And this is why it's also uh, important to exchange views and understanding. Because when it's something new, the translation of it, we might uh, translate it in our old ways. So it doesn't fit. This is why engagement is so valuable now. Yes, yes, yes. And, and when... And yes, and what is getting born? Yes, let's start with you. You, 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 you. <laughs> yes. Agi, Mimo, Volkan, Sedef, all the people who are here. You are getting born now. A new you. A new potential. It needed nine months of stop and reflections and pregnancy. It's not the usual 
birth because usually <laughs> things are happening in, in the containment of, of the ovum and and you know you're not responsible really for the result apart from you know the first genetics that you put in we had a different kind of birth because we were hopefully during this these last nine months aware and being able to put in this newborn which is us new pieces of genetics and, and changes and this is why there were so many solar eclipses. There were six different eclipses, lunar and solar, during 2020. And one of the reasons is for us to stop. We said pause, realign. Pause, pause realign. Okay. And you know what? It's crazy, but I'm just thinking about the fact that maybe the junk DNA... Not junk, yeah what used to be called junk mm -hmm. DNA have now actually a potential to start to come in to show himself not as a junk but as a valuable DNA mm -hmm. and maybe our children are a bit more prepared advanced than us it doesn't say we need to let them run in the street you know <laughs> but uh, maybe there is cooperation here of generation that is oh. new Oh, yes. So yes. So let's uh, let's fast forward now to the birth that is now uh, taking place during these days. So first of all, uh, we still have the opportunity uh, to make sure that we took in all the lessons and all these reflections about our lives that happened during the last nine months till it ain't over <laughs> till Jupiter and Saturn kiss <laughs> okay till till the solstice so if you feel that you still have to work out something in you that you saw something in you that you don't want you want to change uh, we, we, we're, we're having this sentence yes with stop which has to do with Saturn pose. or yeah. pause mm -hmm. and realign yourself, renew yourself, open new possibilities to yourself, which has to do with uh, with Jupiter. Okay, and the coming solstice. So we, we're we're having this only three days before the solstice, but a good process is valuable. Va <laughs> valuable, <laughs> do it. <laughs> so this is. Um, one thing because all the solstices that we're during this year tells us to rewrite ourselves and to realign ourselves. This is a very, very short. Um, so we're coming into Jupiter and Saturn. It's a magic. It is it's maybe every yes, yes. So what so yes, so at, at the beginning we said that the solstice anyhow is a very strong time. With cosmic rains happening, lots of magic happening, and you should do it in an be at this time in an aware way. But during this time, there is another very, very unique gate that happens, and it's interesting. Oh, this is the card now. I understand. Gafnit uh, took a card before from the Frown Strong package. <laughs> Was this the card? No, the chariot. Just a minute. Okay. So, this is the card that came out before the reading. Okay, and it has a chariot in it. And the person who rides this chariot, and he needs to manage the white and black sphinxes. Try to manage a sphinx, right? <laughs> So you need to be very trained <laughs> in order to do so. And this is the gate that is now before us because the gate, you know, in, in ancient times, each gate had like one, two lions, one in each side or two some things, yes? That, eagles. So. Two eagles that kept it. A, now our gate is made of Jupiter and Saturn. Yes, yeah, so this is the gate for us to pass a, through during this uh, amazing time 
So I'll try to find the Jupiter and Saturn here in my cards. Um, I'll, okay, just to say before that if we're dealing with the cards, do you yes. want to say something about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, the year 2020 is maybe what the year of resurrection. So this is the tarot card, the frown strong tarot, and card number 20 is the card of resurrection. And it's, uh, it's really speak about, one of the things it speak about is what do we want to put outside of ourselves and what do we want to realize and to give birth to. Today we speak a lot about giving birth. Yes. And we can <laughs> speak more about it. But it's amazing that this year it looked like fixed, but there was so much movement in it. And together, 2020 is four. It's something in the stability had to realign itself. Mm -hmm. And now we are actually moving with a new year that this is the last gate we wanted to speak about into the nymph of ability, which really speak about a new charge and yes. new abilities mm -hmm. and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can talk. Yeah, and uh, and it's it does not speak only about women. It's also speak about men, mm -hmm. and it's also speak about the planet. So it's the year two thousand twenty one have a potential that it's really also up to us what we will make out of it. Yes, yes, yes. So during this. Uh, solstice in this very very uh, unique uh, year uh, there is another amazing thing only once every 800 years Jupiter and Saturn conjunct meaning they're aligned yes if we're looking from Earth uh, each one is doing their <laughs> cycle and only a to a, a and twen every blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> Jupiter revolves around the sun. So does Saturn. Each one in their own space speed. and speed. Exactly. Every 20 years, the two conjunct. They, as it would seem from Earth, just as the eclipse, yes, they will be aligned. But aligning in the dimensions of a, the solar system usually is something like this. So usually you'll see one beneath the other. During this year, Saturn and Jupiter are going to align not only at the same place, but also in the same height. So they're really going to be one. as one in the skies. Okay. Why does it happen like that? Because it happened very, very close to a solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. We are in the eclipse season, which means that during this time, the whole ecliptic plane is aligned. Okay, so the sun and the moon, if they meet, usually they meet like, like this once a month, but during the eclipse season, they meet like this, and so do Jupiter and Saturn, okay? And this happens only once every 800 years and it happens exactly on the solstice which is absolutely amazing the two meet every 20 years yes but to have this what we're going to see and it's absolutely amazing because we can see it with our eyes okay so if you follow the skies and in my weekly forecast i wrote time and time again look at the sky jupiter and saturn are really 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 getting closer December 21st, they will be so close, they will seem as one bright star. Planets, but they look like a star in the sky, which is absolutely um, amazing, but not only amazing, it's a writing in the sky and it's a cosmic opportunity. Um, now, Yes, how, how to start? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, what does it, what, what will be the nature of the kiss? What does Saturn will whisper in the ear of Jupiter? Oh, I love you. No, no, <laughs> actually, it will whisper goodbye. <laughs> and, 
not not that uh, romantic, but I'll I'll explain. Uh, and for that, I need another a uh, card. Uh, okay, never mind. So the whole unique astrology of twenty twenty happened because Jupiter and Saturn. This is the cards from my astrological deck. A uh, Saturn and Jupiter. Yes, which are absolute uh, um, opposites. Yes. Okay. So this is the the minus and the plus. So again, so not only the world is exactly at a tilt, also the planets that represent minus and plus are joining together to this crazy battery of energy. Okay. So the whole year 2020. It happened astrologically with everything that we see because these planets which are very very slow it's a kiss of two very very old people or two turtles <laughs> okay so they were five degrees in the sky from each other and it took the very 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 slowly a whole year to to have this uh, kiss okay it's not this passionate kiss it's a uh, a turtle kiss also old people passionate kiss. yes sorry. <laughs> i apologize for all old people <laughs> i didn't mean to me to be ageist so and i apologize for all turtles <laughs> which also probably can be very passionate <laughs> but Jupiter and Saturn really, really slowly got together during this whole year. And in between, this is what I'm looking for, a, is and was most, and, and still is there, a Pluto. Pluto yeah. is the planet of transformation. Okay. So this is a very, very unique conjunction of the three planets. Okay. Saturn is everything that is limiting Jupiter. Oh, it's so many things. <laughs> Jupiter is the new things. Jupiter is opening and Pluto is the transformation. So this was the writing in the sky. And these days, actually, finally, yes, there, <laughs> Pluto is a bit to the side, but still very everything. All the three are very, very close together. And suddenly Pluto and Saturn, sorry, Saturn and Jupiter meet but the truth is that after they kiss this is why i said the kiss goodbye Pluto, jupiter will very 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 quickly start to move away mm -hmm. from saturn and pluto and end this astrological configuration that we had for the last year which is a history changing astrological configuration look at my other videos because i really talked about how when these mm. th three meet, they changed history. Okay, so now we're having this last and very dramatic get together. But then again, Jupiter is going to whoosh, go in, in three months time. This whole conjunction that was with us for the whole year of 2020 will end because they will be distant again. So it's first of all, it's a kiss, a goodbye. I think it's also fascinating to read what's happened 800 years ago. What's happened on the face of the planet Earth? It was a pre-beginning of the Renaissance. It was uh, the Mongolic uh, kingdom took over a lot of different uh, territories. There was many, many things that have been starting to change. Yes, in the 13th century is the beginning of the Kabbalah, the Jewish esoteric wisdom. A, a, um, Rumi was living at that time with the Sufi esoteric uh, wisdom, 13th century. So it's really interesting to look at world history through different, uh, you know, glasses uh, and to observe something about this time, not to possess uh, what can happen now exactly. but to be open to the signal and to read the runes you know it's like when you take a piece of paper and you make dots like many different dots 
and you start to connect the wounds and you see what's happened mm -hmm. and this is could be amazing because each person will do it differently mm -hmm. but then you get a map mm -hmm. a new kind of map that might reveal some secrets mm -hmm. yeah there was more questions yes yes and the responses so uh, Vulcan says uh, um, yes, I felt that it was an end of one life when, when his child was born, because we asked him, how did you feel when your child was born? And starting of another life, goodbye to silver single life, how to golden fatherhood. I think it's amazing you're talking about that, because um, this is also one of the meanings of a Saturn, which is the father, and is connected to gold and to rules, and Jupiter, which mythologically is Saturn's son, uh, which connects to the new order and to new possibilities. So there is definitely something here to do with generations, yeah. the meeting between generations, the old and the new. And this is the really the Yes, the Vulcan, as you said, a, a gold epoch, uh, giving a, a kiss to the new epoch, to the, uh, to the silver epoch, which is uh, coming in uh, now, exactly at this uh, beginning. And um, Alison says, hello, Alison, good to see you from Canada. Uh, wow, 800 years, yes. So think what... Will people, if there will be an internet and 800 years from now, will say about our time, what happened now, okay? And again, the question, I think we asked it last time, uh, are we really lucky or is it a matter of luck or something else that we are living now? Do we have certain function, responsibilities, commitments, standard to hold? Yeah. Yes, yes. I, I, it's, it's, I think it's very unique to be living at this time, this year, with all the astrological and events, actual events taking place. I think we, wh whoever is living now, most of us and who is watching now, probably chose to come during this time. Now, I, I remember Vulcan's previous question, how to prepare, what to do. We're at the birth of a new thing, what to do. Um, Vulcan, I'll ask you again. <laughs> Could you really prepare for the birth of your child? Could anyone really prepare? I know I couldn't. I could prepare my bag to take, you know, <laughs> and I prepared the room and, and everything with my first day, a daughter that was born. But really, 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 I couldn't, couldn't really uh, prepare. And the best thing also to know is that we're trying to manage things with our brains and we're stressed if we won't. So what if I won't do it precisely? What if I'm missing this gate? What exactly do I need to do? But what we said before, you know, you're opening your awareness at this time you're allowing your buckets to be filled with the cosmic rain that is now coming and that is our we can't do much more than that because the future is so unknown that we can't plan but we do want to have the right fuel so we're at the last gas station now Yes, from the gas station analogy from before, where all we need to do is just fill ourselves with what is coming now and what is coming during the solstice, the new things, the new things. So nine, nine months we were, we were in a pause. Now we can change direction an and octave. we... An octave. And, an octave. We're... <laughs> from this... To this. Yes, yes, I'll, I'll explain that. Yeah. I'll explain that. So, um, I think also what else we can do is really to take deep breath, breathing in mm -hmm. and to understand that it's we have friends to work with. Yeah. And if we will be ourselves, something will recognize us. And with humility, 
it will take the time it's like step small small steps mm -hmm. but it will start to make sense like putting the pieces of the puzzle yeah. together into the new reference because we might face completely new field of reference that we don't have yet the language to describe it mm -hmm. so a new forms of art a new form of music a new form of dance will be coming and I really feel that this uh, one third gold mm -hmm. that is to do with our standard and sentiment towards nature, towards human being, yeah. towards our family, uh, towards other people's family. Yeah. You know, not to dismiss, not to dismiss. Uh, um, if we can give a hand, let's give a hand, but also give a hand to ourselves. Mm -hmm. So this one third gold is really important to search. What yes. is it? Yes, and just to say to the reference of gold. Yes, we ha I have one gold, silver, one a eh, one gold ring, one silver ring. Gold is things that are steady, stable, um, confident, confident. It ha they have structure. Silver is the the new. It's the new things. And, you know, we, we have Saturn, which represents structure and form. And now we, we might say, we don't want any more structure and form. But this is not right, because without structure and form and order, we won't be able to establish the new things. Yeah. Okay, so we don't want the old to restrain the new. Yeah. But we do need a standards, principles, um a grounding commitment devotion in order to bring in mm -hmm. the the new. the new things i'll um as i'll see just a few questions so Anne said that i really we really answered already the question of how to prepare before she <laughs> managed to type it down and uh, aggie asked how to keep our channels clean and open to receive so uh the answer is keep your channels open <laughs> to receive <laughs> this is you know there are many many ways it's really it's a very important question during this time of emotional imbalance mental imbalance so again there is a lot to learn about that i think gifted and myself gave some good tips in other times and again in the ruby mountain and in the Eman, there are so many tips and knowledge to to learn how to clean your aura how to uh, gafnit wrote a whole book how to sleep well which is so important because you talked about the sleep before yeah yeah so we have a natural time of of cleaning ourselves so we need to learn how to use it yeah, and well. charge ourselves with, uh, yes. with new energies. Mm -hmm. And also to deal with what is really important. I mean, not to be like fixed, you know, to have a life, to have laughter. A sense of humor is so essential. You know, even I, I had to help some people that had the coronavirus and I sent them a lot of jokes that someone from Holland sent to me. Because uh, because they need the green, breathing is to do with green. And now I send it to another people that they had this coronavirus. So it's really not to be holy now, but to, to stop every once in a while to pose real line to our uh, principle in life. Mm -hmm. Yes. And to be happy with what we have. Mm -hmm. I think this is part of... Uh, declaration yes. of um, I want to fill my well with fresh water mm -hmm. yes 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 so you know instead of stressing of how to be at this time what to do during this time uh, don't try to mind it with your mind don't try to control it with your brain there are other parts in you which know how to be in touch with cosmic materials that are now coming in. So just be in a state of relaxation uh, so you can fuel at this gas station that we are in, in the cosmic gas station that we are in now. 
and take as much as, as gifts as possible, not the Christmas gifts, the socks and the... <laughs> but, uh, but the real universal cosmic gifts that are now coming, breathe them because something new is being born now, a, a new you, a, a new opportunity for the world, a, a new wash from the universe that will eventually will bring new expression on planet Earth, as we said before. Yeah, I think also expecting things to happen, it's in a way to try to manage them and control them. But this, this sentence, relax, nothing is under control, <laughs> is really something is, is valuable because sometimes things will come in 17 years ago, like the book of Good Night Sleep. It's yeah. 20 years wow. of work. It's not a huge book. It's not a Bible book. It's very thin, mm -hmm. but it took a long time. And I was wondering why now mm. it's came to see... It's now came, people yeah. need this healing yes. of good yes. sleep. Amazing. So, so things might take longer than what we expect. Mm -hmm. And we, we should welcome them when they will come. Yes. Yes, yes, and, yes. And do a lot of detection. Let's mm -hmm. do a lot of detection and observation. Like we observe that some plants here, some trees are blooming in the time where they suppose all to let all the leaves fall. What does it say? Will they bloom in springtime? And when was the day where the fall started? You know, it things like this to see the ways of the planet now it's fascinating mm -hmm. yes 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 we're already whole hour on okay <laughs> we're towards the end but to say um the new year the, yes so there is much unknown much more than the known and 2020 was a year of unknown but unknown with not much going on on the surface yes we were there was much going on but it was a pregnancy yes 2021 is also going to be a huge unknown but this time an unknown popping and happening and appearing and it's unknown because it's the first time these things will appear on earth now, what these two planets do, it's like a slingshot, okay? So we were pushed back by Saturn for nine months, and now finally Jupiter will release. And this is the birth of something new that is happening uh, during this time. You asked, some people asked about a, the fact that Jupiter and Saturn, according to the classical astrology, and here I have to say that I'm for almost nine years now not using the classical astrology, I'm using a more astronomically accurate astrology. But according to the classical astrology, this happens at the zero degree of Aquarius, just the beginning of Aquarius. And the last time Jupiter and Saturn conjuncted in Aquarius was 404 which is exactly the beginning of the renaissance so we are talking in that manner about a renaissance something new happening how will it start by each one of us breathing in the universe and allowing it to express itself through you through us through people this is also what aquarius tells us no government from above will do any change it's us it's up to us to the individuals to bring in the new uh, possibilities i think yes yeah, we're and towards the, new, yeah. the end new year's new day year. what an opportunity to gather the family or a family or the family or your friends and really to together with the celebration to celebrate something new and to find out what you don't what we don't want and what we want what we welcome knowing really that so much is unknown but it's really good to make uh, let's say 
a new agreement in the family, a new order in the family. I know it's not springtime, but in a way it's a little bit like springtime. Mm -hmm. And together with the material celebration, let's also have a soul celebration and spiritual celebration and instinct and intuition. Because when you spoke before, I felt it really con reconnect to our intuition mm -hmm. and trust our s unique design system. It's something really important. Mm -hmm. So it's a new year, it's a last gate yes. and it's a new gate. We're in a gate. It's a long one, so we can be happy with it. It's yes, the solstice is actually so powerful, but it's okay. Where there is one big gate opening till the entrance of uh, uh, of twenty twenty one, so it's a big gate, <laughs> a mileage to walk in it, uh, and we are, we will walk through it in an aware way and see what's uh, born during this. Uh, Time. There are so many responses and continue to ask your questions. We'll be looking at them and trying yeah. to answer you afterwards. Uh, please tell us uh, how this um, session, this meeting, this, how, yes, what did you take from it for your life now? What is the one or two things that you feel that you took for it, uh, for your life? Um, Please uh, look at uh, Gafnit's site, gafnitsalvi.com, with her amazing book and beautiful art. And visit my site, newastrology.com, and register to my weekly forecast, where you will receive lots, lots of information and hopefully celestial connections. And um, we'll say good night, right? Good yeah. day, wherever you are, different yes. places, different and times. Maybe we'll meet next year. Oh yes, let's let's meet let's next, year. next year. <laughs> so we will meet uh, after this gate next yeah. year sometime. And we started with saying hello to ourselves, to mm. things, you know, to trees. To no, we are not crazy when we say hello to trees because they have a life, or to the rabbits, or you know, say hello to people because looking at the eyes and say hello to people, yes. it's a spark of warmth and recognition in the uniqueness of each individual. I have to say something about that. Do you have like two more minutes so I say something about that? Because <laughs> I showed before this symbol of planet Earth, which is also Earth. And, and when you think about it, yes, there is the North Hemisphere oh, yeah. and the South Hemisphere. And you have here winter now and summer here, but you also have day and night. Okay, so you have four different parts Expression and, in the and, and expressions and when people from different continents start to communicate and to say hello to one another new challenge uh, channels are opened you know, there are exercises to do with the brain yes with connecting between the hemispheres of the brain so this is what we do when we start to connect um, internationally and for those who know the reference the the human factor this uh, communication can create uh, a solar cross which is also talking about the octave change so this is part of, of what we're doing by communicating worldwide goodbye leave your responses share with friends bye bye <laughs> Bye.